Hi friends, in the last video we have seen the action, collection, loop and calculation stages. In this video we are going to see action, collection, loop, calculation and decision stages. So by using this we are going to get like you know, conditional data from the collection stage. It is similar to if then else statement in any programming language. Let me save as this one. So here let me delete all calculation stages. Here what I am going to do. So let me run up to this uh, stage. So in items table, so you can see like you know, all data is transferred to collection stage in Luprism. Here I would like to get like you no know, oldest starter date or uh, latest order date from this table. So we'll call like you know, if then else statement in any programming language. So for this one, let me delete, remove like you know, all uh, the calculation stages. So reset it. So let me add one data item called like a counter. So data type is number, initial value is zero. You can okay. And you add calculation stage. Let me assign a name for this one. I like order date. And you add like a counter plus one stores in counter and let me add decision stage let me assign name for this one the order date the counter is 1. So here I am instructing blue prism my required you know item is in the first row itself. For that one let me add like one more calculation stage. And you add one more more data item stage that is the card date. The data type is date. Leave the initial value as a blank. And here, let me assign a name for this one like earliest. Or is all the order date. The earliest. or old list date and go to collection expand items table and drag and drop order date and then store results in so order date So link the stages and my required one is in the first row. The decision stage, the output from the decision stage always says yes and the second outbound link always says no.
and then connect this collection sorry calculation stage to loop end stage so reset it then run it so here i have not given any condition i have instant group pressure my required one is in the first row so it will always display in the first row itself Okay, let me open items table. See the first row is the 01012015 and you can see the same data is displayed. Now I am going to give, give a condition for this one. Let me make a room for this one. Here the condition is the order date should be greater than the date in data table so you add one more decision earliest or older date and the order date is always so greater than like mentioned Order is order date is greater than the order date in the item table. Click on OK. So let me link it, and then the first outbound link from the decision stages goes to this one. Otherwise, so goes to this one. To make it like comfortable, use like an anchor stage. So reset it. Now you can view the result. Okay, let me open like item table. Here the oldest date here is set two thousand one. So it's displayed. This is the oldest order date. Suppose if you would like to see the like you know, latest order date, let me add like you know, one date here. Say set two thousand seventeen. like today's date so even if we change it here it is it's, it's no issue it's no it won't work let me change it in excel sheet So here you can see let me change the date here.
So let me run it. So here the sheet name is changed, like item space data. So run it. Sheet one. So reset it and run it. Okay, just pass this one. So reset it. And let me change the dates here. So today's date. save it and then let me change the condition here so order is less than the date in items table so reset it then run it now it is supposed to display the latest order date like today's date So now we got the result. Okay, thank you. Please stay with us. Uh, we'll continue with uh, some more stages in next videos. In further videos, thank you.